There's a lot of discussion out there about the difficulty there is being a gay person dealing with homophobia and bullying and things like that, but there's little to no discussion about how difficult it is being a gay man and dating today. The dating life for gay men now is inundated with dating apps, sex apps, dating websites, places where we essentially assess and objectify ourselves in every way and find new ways to criticize one another and it kind of makes me sad. First, let me begin by establishing that there are two different groups of gay people when it comes to relationships. There are those who, as soon as they come out, they meet someone, they immediately attract someone, and they start dating with them, and they end up being in a long-term relationship or even being in a relationship with them for the rest of their lives. And there are the other gay people like myself who come out but don't necessarily attract someone right off the bat and experience mul a multitude of dysfunctional relationships because there is a significant lack of commitment with relationships in the gay community. I'm not entirely sure why. It could be because we spent so much time being in the closet with little to no relationship experience and we feel like we need to make up for lost time. I don't know. I am not that way and unfortunately that is my disadvantage because I am one of the few who wants to settle and wants to have a family and wants to share life with someone else. Keep in mind, I'm not speaking for all gay people. Of course, there are always exceptions. But this is the majority of what I've observed, okay? I remember as a late teenager in my early 20s even, I would just, every time... I would attract someone and then they would be like, oh, I don't like you anymore, I'm not interested. I would internalize it a lot and ask myself, well, what's wrong with me? What did I do wrong? Am I not attractive enough? Am I not being sexual enough? Am I not masculine enough for them? And I mean, and I caught myself doing that again recently and I had to kind of take myself back and be like, Donnie, why are you doing this to yourself? Because you know you are... A good guy and you are worthwhile. My problem is that people seeing that in me isn't enough to make them want to pursue me in a committed fashion. I would spend hours looking in the mirror telling myself I was never good enough, telling myself that I was used damaged goods that nobody wanted, but now I look in the mirror and I'm like, you know what? I know I'm a catch. I know I'm a great guy, and and I think anyone would value me if they took the chance, you know. But unfortunately, the gay community, in a lot of ways, is focused on how we fit into the boxes that society establishes regarding gender stereotypes. For example, I've had guys say that, oh, you are not masculine enough, or they've watched my videos and been like, oh my gosh, you aren't what I expected, you have a beard, I figured you would be super burly, but I'm not. Because I cannot be placed in one of those gender-established boxes, that often makes me unappealing, and to me that's saddening. That's really sad, because when people pass that judgment, they aren't really making an effort to understand who I really am. Like, there is more to me than my sexual identity or my gender identity. There's more to me than my degree of masculinity or femininity. I think when someone finally realizes that, that's when I will find the one. Since I came out, I knew it wouldn't be easy because I am not society's idea of what a gay man should be. I am not swimmer bod, gorgeous, hunky model guy. I am not corporate, sophisticated, soiree guy. I am just me. I am geeky, dorky Donnie who loves to teach, who loves to write, who loves Godzilla and Lord of the Rings and all of these other things. And I just have to keep telling myself, I have to believe, and I do believe, that someday someone will appreciate that. Unfortunately, I usually encounter a lot of guys who want me for sexual purposes, or guys who are so immersed in their masculine egotism that they essentially either lose interest or they attempt to try to shame me into being the kind of person that they want me to be. 
and I'm just so over encountering that type of thing, you know? I want to encounter something genuine, something meaningful. And you know, maybe I am just doing this, maybe I'm just making this video to remind myself that I am worthwhile. Maybe I'm doing it to prove to myself that I am still optimistic despite being a few years away from 30 years old. And in my generation, when you hit 30, you basically lose your value as a gay man, essentially, and that's really sad too. There's a lot of ageism that even needs to be addressed. And I'm, I think I'm just making this to, to tell myself that I'm not alone in experiencing this. There has to be other gay men out there going through this, and probably other people outside of the gay community going through this, but if there is anything I do know, I know that I am a good guy. I think I'm attractive. I am intelligent. I am romantic, I'm passionate, I have goals, I love with my entire being, and I want to make a difference in this world, and I want to share that with someone else.